Alright, so I usually show you guys Spiral Knight's 5 star gear items that have a visual representation on the Spiral Knight's character. You know, like armor, swords, guns, that kind of stuff. And because I've gotten into a habit of doing that, I completely forgot about a 5 star gear item that I use on every run I go on. And that item is the Penta Heart Pendant. And today we're going to be taking a look at how helpful this item actually is and how you can get your hands on some. Now, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to be equipped with two Penta Heart Pendants so you can really see the difference that they make. Now, you're going to want to be paying attention to my health bar up top there. And as you can see right now, I have quite a bit of health, 27 to be exact. Now, I'm getting 15 of that health from my armor. And 12 of the health is coming from the two Penta Heart Pendants, and each pendant provides me with 6 health. And as you can see, when I took away both of those, my health went way down. So because the Penta Heart Pendants give us a total of 12, and the armor gives us a total of 15, when we equip two Penta Heart Pendants, it's basically like having another set of armor on, the health bonus from it anyways. And that is just ridiculous. I mean, these things are literally a game changer if you do not have them. And to help you guys understand how much these things actually help, I'm going to be conducting a few field tests with them. Now for the first field test, I'm wearing full Scalver, and I have both of the Penta Heart Pendants equipped. And we're going to see how many hits we can actually take from this Chromalisk before our health is depleted. Now of course, you wouldn't just stand here when you're getting attacked, but this really helps put things in perspective. Because later on, we're going to be looking at what happens when we don't wear the Penta Heart Pendants. So, with both of the Penta Heart Pendants equipped, we were able to survive through 9 hits, and we died on the 10th. Now we're going up against another Chromalisk, and we do not have either of the Penta Heart Pendants equipped, so we just have normal armor health. And when you see the difference after this test, try to imagine how much you could have done with that extra health that you had from the Pendants. Like, you could have been running around defeating monsters and completing levels. Now we were only able to survive through 5 hits with this set, and we died on the 6th. So that's a difference of 4 hits we were able to survive through. And that is definitely a game changer in my book. Now you can also use Penta Heart Pendants in Lockdown. And as we all know, a striker's base health in Lockdown is pretty measly. But if you have Penta Heart Pendants equipped, you can deal a lot more damage and capture many more points during the duration of your Lockdown life. Now, I'm going to show you how to start off getting the pendants, and I'm just going to warn you, it is as expensive as getting a piece of armor. Each pendant is basically like buying another piece of 5-star armor, and they require a special material called Enamorox. Now, Enamorox can be bought from Solvin for 10 Krogmo coins each, and you get Krogmo coins by completing player versus player matches, like Lockdown or Blast Network. So you're definitely going to have to play quite a bit of Blast Network and Lockdown, and if that's not your thing, it you might just want to buy them from the auction house, but that will definitely be a more expensive option. Now, there's kind of an annoying side to heart pendants and other trinkets, and that's that you have to buy trinket slot upgrades every month to be able to equip them. And trinket slot upgrades can be bought over here at the Supply Depot for 150 CE, but that is definitely not the best price in town. So we're going to waltz on over to the auction house, and players actually price these much more reasonably. So we'll type in trinket, and first result should be trinket slots, of course, and go to one of the later pages, and I found that a pretty decent price for these is from 6,000 crowns to 7,000 crowns, which is definitely better than shelling out 150 CE on these things. Now, while it is pretty annoying that you have to buy a trinket slot upgrade to utilize your pendants every month, there is a cool little feature to them, and that's that you can actually stack your trinket slot upgrades. So, say you didn't want to have to worry about upgrading your trinket slots for half a year, you could just go out, buy six of them, and equip all of them at the same time, and then you wouldn't have to worry about equipping new trinket slot upgrades for six months. So, that's kind of a cool little feature. Now, Getting pendants and trinkets and that kind of stuff, it's all like upgrading armor. So you have to do it in stages. And first, for the Penta Heart Pendant, you'll have to get a Heart Pendant. They can take that to a Dual Heart Pendant. They can take your Dual to a Tri Heart Pendant. Take your Tri to a Tetra. And finally, you can take your Tetra Heart Pendant to a Penta Heart Pendant. And thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll see you in Spiral Nights. And stay tuned for just a little bit to get some news on some upcoming content. 
Alright, so I thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update on what's going to be coming to this channel. And as you know, before I've stated that there's going to be two new series, the Chalk Talk one, where I ramble on about random Spiral Knights topics and answer your questions. And the second is the Monster Breakdown series, where I break down monster families and explain how you can fight them, what weapons to use, strategies to use, and I kind of take that on to boss battles as well, so that'll be kind of interesting. I also have another Maple Story video I've been thinking about, so I'll probably try to squeeze that in sometime. And I've actually completed the intro for the Monster Breakdown series, and I thought I'd give you guys a little peek at that, so tell me what you think. Have a great day.